I'm very pleased to be honored. I accepted on behalf of the board and the staff of the Community Foundation the achievements that CS mentioned are the achievements of us all, and I happen to work with the very best team in philanthropy. Uh, and I kid you not, that's worth an applause for sure. I also want to thank uh, my friends who are here, and I also want to recognize my, my wife, but it's especially uh, uh, fun to have my mother-in-law here who just moved here uh, from Philadelphia and has made a tremendous tr uh, transition to be here. So thank you very much. And last, I want to uh, uh, recognize um, uh, uh, co-awardee Randy uh, for all your achievements in the community. It's good to be recognized uh, along with you for all the work that you've done over so many years. So congratulations to you. So, so they told me to keep it brief, and so I'm going to try to. And, and Akimi, I'm, I'm going to suggest that we need to start to say the full name, people acting in community together. Because we're at a crisis point where we need people acting in community together to form a new pact, right? We've, we've got significant challenges. And when you say people acting in community, it doesn't say rich people and not so rich people. It doesn't say citizens and not citizens. It doesn't say straight or gay or women and men. It says people acting in community together. And I want to submit to you that the challenges we have require people acting in community together. Right now, we have some 40% of third graders who don't read at proficiency in our community. That rises to 60% when you talk about African American and Latino kids. And the only way we're going to do that is if we have people acting in community together. We have some 78% of eighth graders who are not at math proficiency in our community. And the only way we're going to do that is what? People acting in community together. We have issues where immigrants are being exploited. And that exploitation is not just limited to people who are in the service industry. We're learning that it's also extending to people who are in the tech industry. The only way we're going to address that is what? People acting in community together. We have human trafficking right now in this community. There's slavery. Slavery going on where people, against their will, are being forced to give their labor or to engage in sex acts in our community. The only way we're going to start to address that is people acting in community together. We can only do that if everyone in this room extends their networks in a real way not a once a year way, but in an every day, 52 weeks out the year way to make a difference. Thank you so much for this recognition. I look forward to working with all of you.